San Antonio, get ready for AJ Monster Trucks Freeze Dial! Hello Monster Truck fans and welcome to AJ Monster Trucks. We are back here in San Antonio, Texas and we are about to get right in to the Apex Tour Freestyle Competition. Last time we saw Adam Anderson and Grave Digger take home the Skills Challenge win and now we're going to get right into Freestyle. Starting out with a truck we're not used to seeing coming out first is not Energy Overdrive. Now we're used to seeing this truck going later, but unfortunately for him, his skills challenge run was not what he was looking for. He's only able to get one hit locked in, and will be going first with freestyle. San Antonio, are you ready? Here we go. Launching it over the transfer to start things off. Sliding around to the lace, Gracie Lane getting some big air coming up with that little dirt mound he has over there. Added in for freestyle, going for the step up ramp, getting some big air. Sliding around out the near side, transfer landing on top of freestyle pad and covering it up once again. Now this track, of course, is a paperclip layout, which is definitely an interesting freestyle uh, layout. And look at this, getting the stoppy on top of the pad. Like I said, uh, paperclip style track is definitely a very different freestyle experience from anything else. Almost gets into a bit of trouble there. Now, uh, landing on top of that pad uh, from the transfer ramps and those center jumps is a big part of the paper flip freestyle course. Nas Energy Overdrive feels pretty good so far, though I do feel like this is not a 100% caliber overdrive run. Usually he goes crazy out there, but this time he seems a little more tame. I wonder if there's something wrong with that truck or if he's just saving it for the next show. I'm not sure, but getting some big air off the center jump and it up with the cars. 30 seconds left to go for Nas Energy as he is going to go for a bit of a racing lane and the step up ramp. And rounding now, lining up for the Nas Energy backflip. First of the night and lands it beautifully on that left side tire. 10 seconds left to go, and he's going to go to that step of red big air, and over the burn, three, two, one. Nothing else after this will count, folks. Let's hear it for Nas Energy Overdrive. It was a great freestyle to start us out, although, like I said, I feel like Overdrive usually goes a lot harder than that. I wonder what's up. Nevertheless, a great run, and the score for Nas Energy Overdrive is a 19.8. Here he is, folks, next up for freestyle. You know him well. Give it up for Mr. Excitement, Jim Kohler in Avenger. Skying it over the step up to start off his run. Rocking that World Finals 15 body paint here in San Antonio. To match that beautiful purple track that he is tearing up already. Heading for the racing lane, getting some huge air and a nosedive. Now sliding it around for the transfer. Beautiful. Up and over the other side burn. A G 
Gym 4 has a very good momentum going so far. And I'm sure knowing him he's going to step it up later on. Nice lap wheel in there. And oh my, getting some huge air off the tabletop. Now another thing about these paperclip layout tracks, it is very easy to crash on these tracks. It is really easy to get a bad landing and crash hard. Jim Cole did that in Tampa, so he is being a little bit more cautious to not get a bad landing to end his run early. And he's doing a great job getting some nice air time, has a very consistent momentum look at that. Beautiful combo, and oh! Not something we see very often with Jim Fuller not putting it into a stoppy. Nicely done. And look at this, folks, the jammer built into the berm. He's gonna line up for it. Here we go. Oh my, huge sky wheelie. Jim Fuller sky wheelie here in San Antonio. And looks like he's putting it into the NOS Energy H back. Beautiful backflip execution lands on top of the bird. One and go wide. Oh my gosh. That will do it. End of time. Give it up for Jim Cola in Avenger. Absolutely insane run. Just going crazy across the track. And that incredible landing with a 25.2 to take the lead. And coming out next from Team Throttle Monster, Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack! And he's going to attack that freestyle bat for his first hit. Time has started. Now heading over for that dirt ramp over there. Into a slap, really, almost. Going for the transfer. Nice air off of it. Comboing it up with the car ramp. Now for the near side transfer. Definitely got the momentum going like Jim Kohler. He knows what it's going to take to have to take the lead here. And he is taking the initiative early on. Nice air over the step up ramp. Now on a paper flip track like this, it is very easy to get into a rhythm of just hitting the same transfer ramps over and over again. And that is something you definitely want to avoid. The judges do not like to see repetition in runs. So it is definitely good to get a variety of obstacles on the side of the track as well as the transfer runners every once in a while. And he's definitely doing that right now. Big air over the racing lane and into another almost slap really. Now Dalton Widener has the arena experience from Toughest and Monster Jam, so he definitely knows how to swing it around in tight spaces and get the air time and the momentum. Keeps trying to get that slap, really. Going for the center jump with some nice air time goes to the side of the freestyle path. We have hit 30 seconds left to go for Dalton Widener as he goes with the near side transfer, big air! And oh, Sky wheels it over the berm. And there's that arena experience coming in, putting it into a moonwalk off the rebound. Keeping it going, sets it down now. 10 seconds left to go for Jurassic Attack. Putting it into the center jump for some more huge air over the transfer. Hits the tabletop. Look out, in trouble. And unfortunately, that save will not count because it was after time, but let's hear it for Dalton Widener, Jurassic Attack! It was a really good run, great air time, great momentum, and that beautiful stop, the off the rebound of the landing. What did the judges think though? Score is in, and the score for Dalton Widener and Jurassic Attack is a 25 even. Jim Kohler is still your leader. And coming out here, slowly scanning the track, the horror from the deep, Megalodon! Had a pretty good 
skills run got two very nice bicycles. And time will start getting the side or the side. <laughs> the back of that racing lane. Sliding it out now, getting up and over the cars. Uh, wheeling it all uh, next to that. Freestyle pad. I just lost my train of thought there for a second, folks. Now we're gonna bring it all down to the center jump, getting some nice air lands on top of the pad. Nice air over that transfer top, bring it up on the back of the center jump. Now, the paper flip tracks, I keep saying that, the paper flip, oh, nice air time! I keep saying the thing is about the paper flip tracks, but it's true, there's a lot to talk about, there's a very interesting layout. The thing is, there's not very many different obstacles to hit on the track, so you kind of have to have that momentum and kind of sling the truck around to get a good freestyle run in, and look at the air time off the jammer, nicely done. 50 seconds left to go over halfway through his run now. Megalodon, I think, definitely needs to step it up just a little bit and he wants to beat Jim Kohler in Avengers. Nice little slap really next to the Hooters banner. Takes some more little time off the center jump. Megalodon's kind of taking a bit cautious here. See, him trying to fill time and he's going to put it into the Whirlpool Cyclone. Oh, the cars once again, 19 seconds left. Big air off that little dirt mound. And looks like he's lining up for the Nux Energy Backflip break. An absolutely perfect landing off the backflip. One, unfortunately, this final leap will not count for time. Let's hear it for regular time. Now I have to say that run I don't think was as good as the others that we've seen so far. We'll have to see what the judges thought of the Me or Megalodon's run. And your score for Megalodon is... Any day now. A 24.6. Up next from Team Scream, Corey Rummel in range. Love to see it. Love to hear it. Beautiful sounding trucks. Beautiful theme song. It's criminal that Monster Jam does not have rage more often. But we've got you covered, folks. Rage is here tonight in a best tour. And Corey Rumble going to start off with the center jump, big air, lands on top of the pad, tumbling it up with the cars. Now bringing it around for the transfer, nice air off of it. And getting an interesting angle off that, lands on top of the dirt now. He slides, oh, hits that back for Grant. Still under control though, going for that jammer. Nose diving it into the wheelie. Look at that, walking it across the track. Corey Rumble has a good momentum going so far. Lining up for the cars, big air, oh my! He is flooring it across that track. He is going for the win right now. He came very close to winning last time in Tampa. Oh my goodness! Huge air into a nose dive. I was saying he came very close in Tampa, Florida last time to taking the freestyle win. Definitely an Extreme Air Award nominee, as well as uh, Apex Tour Freestyle of the Year. And he is getting some huge air right now as well. Definitely trying to do the same thing he did in Tampa. Getting the momentum, getting the back-to-back -back air time, and huge air off the transfer still. Oh, look out! And he sings it unbelievable! 
Going for the uh, uh, kind of a transfer off the step up ramp. Corey Rumble hitting things all sorts of different ways, trying to wow those judges. And it's working for me. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Huge bounce! Come on, save it! Yeah! Reversing it into the same. Get to that backflip ramp, Corey. You can do it! Nos, energy back for time. Huge hair off of it. And that is time. Nothing after this will count for a score. Oh my gosh! Corey Rumble going crazy. Let's hear it, San Antonio. Absolute incredible one. That final leap there did not count. It's a 27.2 to take the lead. What an incredible run that was. And a new leader. Coming out next, the next competitor from Westbrook Racing. It's the truly Nolan Exterminator. And he's already started his run off on the racing lane. Looking for that jammer. In the, into a nice little slap, really comboed up with the bird. Had a very good skills run, beautiful save off of the freestyle pad into the sidewall. Let's see what he can do here in freestyle tonight. I know he's had some pretty crazy freestyles in the Stars and Stripes Tour. Let's see how he can transfer that skill into this Apex Tour run. He's doing pretty good so far. Got a very good momentum going. And big air off the transfer ramp. Like I said earlier, the winning lead was just taken by Corey Rumble. It was over 27, I think it was 27.2, if I remember correctly. Not going to be an easy score to beat. And Exterminator whipping it into some donuts. Love to see donuts in Apex Tour. Crawling over that burn, now going to head for the back of the center jump. Ends it a bit sideways, keeping it under control. 40 seconds left to go. Heading for the step up for some big air. Barely avoids the berm there. Could have been in trouble. Almost lifts the truck up there as well. And oh, what's this? 26 seconds left to go. He doesn't have much time. But he's still going to back it up. He's going to launch it off those cars? I think so. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Huge leap off the cars. Exterminator with a huge lead and bringing it around for the Nos Energy backflip. And that will do it. Anything after this is just for you fans and all. Give it up for the truly no one Exterminator. He's still going. He's putting on a show for you fans even after the scores are in. Oh my. And oh, look out! In trouble! And brings it on his side. Or his roof, rather, next to the back of the ramp. What a run! The truly no exterminator. Even giving it a little extra for you fans at home. And the score for Westbrook Racing's truly no exterminator is a 25. And speaking of Westbrook Racing, here's the other half and the brains of the operation. It's TJJN Rats Next! And that beautiful, absolutely beautiful Ford F100. Brand new metal shop chassis for this year. He's been dominating in it so far. Let's see if he can bring back the Apex to We're starting off with a big leap off the back of this uh, step up ramp. Had an absolutely insane freestyle back at Golden Gray Stadium on Octane Tour. Though I think he went that hard just because it was his first show on AJ Moss Truck and he wanted to leave a statement. Might be a little more cautious now that he's on a bigger stage. Well, not really. He's still getting the great momentum so far. Honestly, very fast paced run. As he goes for the transfer, it's a bit awkward and gets that right front up in the air. Uh oh! Almost in trouble there, using that rear steering, crack walking it for a save. 
And Nice Arrow once again hitting it sideways. Look out! Come on! There you go! Saving it! Oh my! Rasnes just showing off right now. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna slide it out big time there. And for that, oh my gosh! Huge, massive air off of the tabletop ramp. Unbelievable. Now back to the transfer, getting some nice air. Westbrook Racing, guys. These guys go hard. These guys drive until there's nothing left to drive. These guys are absolutely incredible, and he is showing it off right now. And with that, we have reached 30 seconds left to go for Rats Nets. And gonna put it into the jammer. Whoa, oh my, we're gonna see some huge air off of that ramp. And I think he's broke the sway bar in the back there. Very understandable. And the landing he's been taking, like this one right here, that's a hard landing. 10 seconds, 8 seconds left to go. And he's putting it into the Nox Energy back to the brand. Here we go! Huge, massive rotation into the moonwalk! Did the judges think it was enough to beat Corey Rebel and Rage? Let's find out. It's a 27, not quite. And coming out next, Travis Mowry and Velociraptor, not wasting any time sending it over that racing lane. And of course, folks, your racing winner from earlier into this show. Let's see if he can make it a double down, getting the stop on top of the freestyle pad. He took down Kipper's Revenge in the final race to claim the racing win, and now he is going at it in freestyle. And Rat's Nest, like I was saying earlier, very, very close to taking the lead. I believe was just a few a decimal points away there. What will it take? to beat Corey Ramon Rage. Let's see if Travis Mauer has what it takes. Now, of course, he has won already, so the incentive might not fully be there to get another win, but you never know. Taking home another win for Team Drama Monster would be pretty prestigious here in Apex Tour. And look at this! Launching it over the center jump! Oh my, just the speed he went into that way is incredible. Hitting that uh, freestyle pass center dead on there. Oh, look at this, gonna cross threading on the berm. We haven't seen that yet. Getting a nice sky wheeling. Now the back of that center jump landing on top. Off the step up and look at this. Oh, twirling it around for the save. Unreal. And with 20 seconds left to go, he's lining up for the Nos Energy backflip! Lands in a pin on the oh, Look out! And reverses it for yet another save! He's got about one hit left to go and just watches it over the step up. And that'll do it! Let's hear it for Travis Mowry, Velociraptor! Giving the fans a little extra as well. Give it up for the Velociraptor. Another great run, but I don't know if it had the same momentum and wow factor that Rage had. Let's see what the judges thought. Your score for Travis Mowry and Velociraptor is a 26.6. Out in the worst, 
Darnell already going over the uh, racing lane in reverse. That's what we haven't seen, a reverse move. And oh my gosh! Clipping the eight pack for some huge airtime. Now Battle Running Motorsports, another independent team that really knows how to throw down the freestyle track. Getting some big air over the transfer, almost clearing the freestyle out there. Rackmore especially is competing in CCM occasionally, has incredible freestyles just like he does right now and in other Apex Super shows. Absolutely incredible. Right now, he is really going for that lead. Oh my god, I just can't get over the airtime. These drivers are getting over that chamber win. That is insane. And now putting into a leap over the racing lane and cobbles it up hard with the dirt mound there. Front end looks to be intact there. Again to the center jump and over the burn. He's really got the run going now over halfway through already. Very fast momentum and getting that wow factor. Oh! And look at this, he's getting a different things. A reverse jump on the record. Throwing in those different moves so we haven't seen that behind wow those judges. Very smart play for record here. And then loop it around for the step up ramp. Nice air jump. He knows it's uh, up a little bit there too. Bringing it around to the cars now, big air! Wow! And he's got 10 seconds left into a snap one and another power really off the cars. One out, all the stops with the Knox Energy backflip coming right now. And oh, almost a consecutive, can he get it? Oh, just short of the consecutive backflip. Give it up for Rick Lord! That was an absolutely incredible run. Will it be enough to beat Rage? I think it might be. That was incredible. Score is coming in now. And the score for records a 27.7. A new leader in Battle Ready Mode Sports is Record. But now, the other half the team is here for that freestyle win. He's gonna try his best to take home his first Apex Tour win here tonight. Let's hear from the Simon Slasher, celebrating two years of Cat Scratch Fever, Kipper's Revenge! Going for that transfer for his first hit, Big Air! Now Red Lord, his teammate, currently has the lead. Will he be able to steal it from his teammate and get up and his first Apex Tour win, huge air off that tabletop, absolutely incredible. Sliding it around for the racing lane, just full sending it across the track. Oh my. Sliding it out to the tabletop once again, getting some huge air. Kimber is going hard, he's going for that win. He does not want to go home with a loss. Putting into the center jump, more another huge leap across the track. Uh oh, look out! Grab one and out for one foot stand! Oh my gosh! Bill rules it somehow! No way! That was insane! Oh my gosh! He is launching it across that floor into a slap really even. Halfway through his run now, Kipper's Revenge is just going for that win. And full sending it into the step up, hard into the burn. Oh my gosh. Look at this nose diving it. Oh my. And another nose dive going off that ramp. And now putting it into the nose. Energy backflip. Oh, what happened? Not getting the rotation he wanted, but saving it. Somehow, still on all four tires. On top of the freestyle pad, gobbling it up with the bird, up side slapping it a little bit, pulling out all the stops. And into the cars! Oh my gosh! Huge nose time! And somersaults again! And that will be tied for Kicker's Revenge!
incredible run. That was incredible. And the score for the Siamese Slasher, a 29.1 to take the lead. Incredible. Your new freestyle leader, Battle Ready Motorsports, Kick for his revenge. But we're just down to our last two trucks now, folks. And out first, Thomas Max G. Almost getting it into that Wilman Bounce moonwalk. Now he didn't have a great show in Tampa, so he's going to try and make up for it here tonight. Putting it over that burn. Now we're going to head to the step up ramp, getting some pretty good air off of it, nose dive a little bit, possibly trying to get it into that room and bounce boom walk that he wants to do. And nice air off the tabletop ramp. Oh, oh, come on! He, oh, he pretty much got it there, just didn't hold it very long. Tom May is going to try and pull out all of the stops to try and beat him and revenge. It's not going to be easy. Huge air off the transfer. Oh my. Now, he could step it up just a little bit here if he wants to beat the incredible score that Kim and Ben just put up. It is going to be a monumental, Herculean even task. Now, Tom Ed is somebody that could do it if he steps it up just a little bit. And trying to get over the bridge. Look out! Oh, side rolling it! Oh man! Tom Metz ending off the run early. What a shame. Not going to see a full freestyle round from Tom Metz. And the score is a 22.2. But folks, we still have one more truck up for freestyle. And I think we all know who it is. Coming out last for freestyle, the black and green wrecking machine, the king of carnage. Let's hear it for Adam Anderson, your skills challenge winner in Grave Digger. Grave Digger has already doubled down on Apex Tour in Arlington, Texas. Can he do it again here in San Antonio? And putting it into the stoppy on the pad. Setting it down now. Popping up with a burn. Nicely done for Grave Digger. Now gonna put it into the, oh my god! Launching it over the tabletop. Grave Digger going crazy right now. Over the racing lane for some huge air. Unbelievable. Sliding it out for the tabletop. Oh, look out! In trouble and keeping it on all fours. Adam Anderson really going for that win now. He's the only one left between Kicker's Revenge and a freestyle win. Will he be able to steal it? Uh-oh. Great thing you're having some transmission issues, looks like. You can hear the truck is almost stuck in first gear, and it keeps wanting to get out of here. Oh my. Having to get it. This is not what Evan Anderson was hoping. This is not what he wanted. Transmission issues, not good. But if there's anybody that can power through it, it's Adam Anderson, a great digger. He's not going to stop until the truck is on fire. A little bit of transmission issues ain't going to stop him. Although that truck is really struggling for life. And what is he doing here? Gonna go for a cross thread on the tabletop thread. No, a backflip! Oh! I didn't know it was that steep. Oh my, great figure, transmission fire. And unfortunately, that will be the end, a fiery end for Grave Digger with a score of 20.5, which means Kipper's Revenge has his first Apex 2 